Happy New Year Church. Here we are in 2021 on my first weekly update. As I record this early Wednesday morning, there's a thick frost on the ground and there's been quite a persistent snow, um, although light. I don't know about you, but if this was the 24th or even the 25th of December, I'd have been so excited. But this morning it was just a bit of a pain. <laughs> so much has happened in the last month. Gosh, how many times have I said that over the last year? We went from tier three in December to tier four. We then had a relaxation on Christmas Day. We then saw things ramp up really quickly and we now find ourselves in a national lockdown. It's not the same though. It's not the same as it was in March and April. It's certainly not the same as it was in November. We understand now very well how to work, how to operate, um, how to wear masks, when to go out, how to keep socially distanced. We've got to grips with the te technology for our work and to engage and uh, to interact with church. We know a lot more about how to shop. Um, we have faith that there will be toilet roll there come what may. We also, I think, have understood the importance of connecting with one another. God really did know what he was saying when he said he's not good for humankind to be alone. Um, we understand that connection with others, even if it's through a telephone line or a screen or a conversation or a doorstep chat, is so vitally important. And we understand that now. And we understand how even it can be done and maintained um, in hell lockdown. We also can see the end is in sight. We can see light at the end of the tunnel with uh, millions of doses of vaccine being distributed. And we just watch as the huge organisational and operational mission gets underway. And that allows us to begin to see uh, how, how and when we might return to some form of normality. However, now more and ever, it's really important that as a church, we hold the line together. We really become the fellowship that I talked about on Sunday. The enemy would like nothing more than to pick us off and to separate us, to divide us, to push us out onto the edges where we just drift away. And that could so easily happen because many of us are tired of this side when we heard the, the news that was only inevitable. We're a bit sick of, of using Microsoft Teams or Zoom. I wondering how on earth are we going to cope uh, with working and children in the home and are just tired. And it'd be so easy just to withdraw, yeah, just to lock down uh, and keep oneself isolated. And I encourage us not to. I encourage us to really be the fellowship that I talked about on Sunday. Uh, how we walk in real koinonia, showing care and love for one another. That we reach out and that we really see a point where there need be no needy person amongst us. And we can do that through our home groups, through our triplets, through conversations with one another. We can uh, help people who have needs and we can encourage people to stay connected in. And it is all our responsibility to choose to stay connected in to the fellowship, as it is our responsibility to help others remain connected in as well. Sundays play such an important role in doing that. And we have uh, streamed um, a service every week um, since the pandemic began. And I am so grateful to the small but significant number of people who have made that happen happen even more so as we brought a small congregation back to the bridge we have those on the live stream we have those on cameras pa welcome we have people who've been faithful in looking after and providing groups for our young people and children as well and i want to say thank you thank you to everyone that has really supported week in week out to make sundays happen whether that's supporting a congregation back here at the bridge or providing a live stream so you can connect in at home. Because we have also understood that for some, it's not been right for you to come out. It's not been right for you to venture to the bridge. It's been right for you to stay at home. And we understand that and we've continued and will continue to provide that way you can connect in digitally. Uh, government to recognize the importance of communal worship in the community. 
how it helps people to connect, how it helps people um, in their in their mental health and in how they f feel. And they still permit communal worship to happen even in a lockdown. And we too feel it's important to continue to do for those who are able to come. However, for this coming Sunday, Sunday the 10th of January at least, we will just be moving to a digital only for format. So there'll be nobody, um, there'll be no need to book in at the bridge, tune in online at 11 o'clock for the live stream and the children's material as well. That will just give us a bit of time to take stock on where we're at, to engage with those that have so faithfully helped Sundays happen and make the right steps uh, to having people back at the bridge again. Church, can I encourage you just to press into God at this time? What's that saying? It often is the darkest right before the dawn. And, and as I said, we can see an end in sight. And now more than ever is the time to keep your Bibles open, to have rough knees as you kneel down and pray, and to stay connected in with one uh, another. Let's truly be the fellowship of God together. It's been great to speak to you. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for, for now.